Hi, Leo. I hope you've had a wonderful couple weeks. I apologize that I didn't get my readings up in time last week or at all in time. <laughs> Anyways, this has been a huge learning curve for me, so I won't let that happen to, again. Um, Leo, we are looking at your reading for November 2nd to 8th. So let's take a look what messages we have for you. That feels good. No flyer cards this week. No big deal. Oh, Leo, you are going to have a good week. Yes, you are. Let's dive in here. Things are looking good. So the very first card I pulled was the chariot. So the chariot, oh my gosh, is telling me there's victory and just good things. Like you are going to crush it this week. Um, and it's crossed with the two of swords. So the two of swords, um, to me, the feeling I'm getting is you're faced with a decision. You're not really sure which way to go. You're kind of scared. You feel like you're going into this blind and you have no idea the outcome and that's okay. Um, Leo, you're going to do fine. Just trust your gut. And with the chariot being the first card that came up, you can't screw this up. You are going to make the right decision. You are going to have success and you're going to have victory. It's, it's like victory is assured. You really can't screw this up. And I can see with the nine of swords coming up that you are stressing. You are stressing. You are losing sleep. You feel stuck with the eight of swords even coming up. The eight and nine of swords. You feel stuck and you feel like you can't get out of this situation, but this is the week that you can do it. So don't be scared. Take a leap of faith. Make that decision and you are going to be successful. This is a big growth week for you. So the magician, um, the magician is telling me that you really are, um, this is a week where you are going to be essentially learning who you are and connecting to your higher self. So the, um, the magician, he, if you see here, he has his wand pointed to the heavens and his hand, uh, finger pointed to the ground. So he's very connected spiritually. He is connected to the spirit world and also connected very much to the earth and very grounded. So he is all about self-discovery. So this is going to be a week of self-discovery and you're really going to learn what a badass you are, Leo. So it's really, really good. And like, trust your gut. The moon card is coming up. So um, you're very connected to energies, moon energy this week. So definitely trust your gut because your intuition is on point. Um... There's a lot of feminine energy coming up. So the Empress, the Queen of Cups. Um, there is something telling me that this week, there's like a mothering side of you that wants to come out. But you need to be very, very careful about the devil. Um, you need to be very careful about uh, codependency. So codependency, it could be with friends. It could be in a love relationship too because the Ace of Cups is also coming up next to this. So um, you may be tempted to reconnect with an ex or connect with someone who just doesn't have your highest good in mind. They're just in it for themselves. So you need to make sure you are very firm with your boundaries and... 
Um, don't get jerked around. And don't give, give, give all the time. This isn't... It's just... Honestly, it's not even that this week is a bad time for that. You just should never be in that position where you're giving, giving, giving until your cup is empty. Because when your cup is empty, you're no good to anyone, including yourself. So... Um, the Wheel of Fortune is coming up. The Death card is coming up. So you are getting out of a really... You're getting out of a shitty cycle. Like the with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, this decision that you need to make is going to catapult you into a very different life, a very different situation, and it's going to be amazing for you, Leo. So I am super excited for you. Um, let me pull a few final cards here. Yes. Amazing. So, um, yeah, what I was saying about being tempted to, um, just give, 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 that's fine. If you have motherly energy and you're helping people that appreciate it and you also get something from them in return, a thank you, something, um, uh, they're not all take, 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 but for those people that they are in it for themselves, for that ex that you want to connect with, but you shouldn't. Um, the seven of wands is coming up. So this is showing me that you are ready to fight for what you believe in and fight for your boundaries. So this is good, Leo. Um, we've got the queen of pentacles and the six of cups. So really lovely energy. Um, there are good people around you and those are the people that you need to surround yourself with this week. So those salt of the earth, oh, sirens. Um, okay, it's gone now. Um, so the salt of the earth friends that you have, you know, maybe you reconnect with an old friend this week, not an old lover, but a friend. Um, just stay grounded and stay around good people and you're going to have an amazing week. So Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading and, um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm very curious to see how your week goes. So, um, yeah, I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next week, Leo.